Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies. In this GeoTools video, I'm going to show you how you can export drawing data to KML files which can be viewed in Google Earth. You're looking at a data here which contains some roads and buildings and a pole block as well. And let us see how we can export these to Google Earth. The first thing that you should make sure is that the coordinates of the drawing must be in lat long and must match exactly what Google Earth uses. If you're not sure how to get your data into those coordinates, you have to first use the Google Earth rubber sheeting tool to make that happen. So in this case, the rubber sheeting is already done and this data is in the Google Earth lat long format. So I have a series of polylines and then I have a block which contains some attributes. So you can if I double click on this, you can see that there are a number of attributes for these blocks. So I go to GeoTools, Geographic Menu, DWG to KML, Google Earth Export. So here the file name has to be specified and the data type to export must be given. By default it's none, which is the simplest way to export just the geometry. But in this case, I want to export the block attributes. So I'm going to choose this option here. Go to settings and you need to specify which block to use. So in this drawing, I have this block called pole. The block pole may have many attributes and you need to choose one of them as a label. So I'm going to choose pole number as a label. In many cases, people use blocks which have attached images, which is very common in surveying. But in this case, I don't have any attached image, so I'm going to leave this blank. There are some additional extracts possible, like object type, handle, object layer, and so on. So if you want, you can click any of those. So I just click OK. In this dialog, you'll also notice that you can export X data, which is attached to entities, as well as object table data if you're working in AutoCAD map. But I have none of these in this drawing, so I'm going to leave that as blank. You get a warning that no attribute has been selected for KML image. No image will be attached. That is fine. That is what I have. And I'm going to say OK. Select objects. So I'm going to select all of this. So it's done it. It has just created the file domlore flyover underscore ll dot KML successfully. Now you will notice that this option was checked so it has created the binary file KMZ also. So if you go here you can see that both KML and KMZ file are created so you can open it in Google Earth by just double clicking on it. So you can see now that I have my entire vector data which contains all the roads and the buildings and so on. And along with that, I also have the pole block which has come here. So if I double click on any of this block, you can see that all the attributes of the block are displayed in Google Earth. So it's very easy for me to study the drawing in Google Earth with a spatial orientation. So that is how you transfer DWG data to KML. So to summarize once again, you need to have your drawing in lat long which matches the coordinates of Google Earth. In case you don't have it already in the required format, you must use the Google Earth rubber sheeting tool which I have already demonstrated in another video. Thank you for watching this video and do let me know if you have any questions.